Hello, I'm me and you're you and I am going to help you today figure out how to put this thing together. 44 inch portable basketball system. Um, and it looks like this in person. This is um, what I purchased from walmart.com and it come in this big box with all of these pieces separated but uh, I'm going to show you how to put it together because the instructions aren't that good so first of all I went to the easiest one step four and I'm going to show you how I um, as you can see use these parts seven and eight to thread the hoop all right so the easiest way I found to do it this out was to um, go facing towards the arrow so you go under the arrow pull it back make sure it gets under the loop like this okay so that's step one then you're going to take it back and then put it through again sorry I'm doing this with one hand Okay, and there. You can pull it tight and make sure it stays under there. And that is how I threaded the hoop. I'll show you uh, another time. So let me take that out. All right, put it through under, under the arrow. Oops, sorry pull it back okay then you're going to pull it through again under the arrow and pull it back and that is how I thread it my hoop all right so after step four I went to step five because I already had the hoop put together and um, the backboard is you know pretty much by itself um, so I put attach three to number eight I forgot to mention you will need all of the tools that they sent you all of these this one and a hammer to bang stuff together so how did I do that basically you flip the, ba the backboard upside down and you will see there are holes right here and right here I would suggest that you put these in first um, make sure you are using your tools to um, tighten the bolts so I had to learn this as well these things fit in here actually so there's two of them there's um, a bigger one and a smaller one and these things fit in here well no not that one the bigger one and you can loosen or you can tighten and it really helps um, secure the nuts onto each side. Make sure to use your washer and then screw your screw in there. All right, from there, you have to do the same. This is, uh, let me see, this is one piece up here. So screw these screws in as well. And for these ones, You want to use this to tighten and there's also a a bigger one and a smaller one so you have to you know pick the right one to use and you want to tighten oh my goodness 
you want to um, tighten, there we go, <laughs> the uh, washer on tight. And I don't know, let me see what's going on here. Okay. All right, let me see. Oh, here's another trick that I learned. Sometimes you have to use these two together. So let me position myself or try to, and I can demonstrate that. Please don't mind my socks. Let me see how can I position this goal. All right, can we see this part right here? All right, let's see this part. So I'm gonna stick this piece into here. Nope, oh, nope, can't get the other one, let me see. Actually, this piece will go on the other side. Technical difficulties. So this piece goes into here. All right. And we're going to use this to tighten this down here. So you hold one piece and you have to make it fit appropriately and you tighten it like so. I am putting leverage on the other side so it doesn't move. And I'm tightening like so. So that is one trick that I learned. All right, now that's nice and tight. With the help of both of these tools. So after that, this frame should be on, okay? Um, then you take one of the bars, and I forget which, so going back over here, it'll be bar number four. And this is bar number four. You will connect it in, as you can see, using your um, bolts and screws. You may have to utilize the same method to tighten um, oops. there is uh, holes on this side where you can stick that in and leverage to tighten both sides okay now once you have this together you have completed several steps now I'm going to explain how we put the base together or how I put the base together. First of all, it was kind of um, confusing to know which side was up. So if you need help like me figuring out which side is up, the side with the two tracks is the bottom side all right two tracks two holes is the bottom side and then you have the part with the ridges and the big hole down there this is the top side so now we are going to go back to our instructions and visit step one so with step one it wants you to put the wheels on and the wheels have a place here where once you put the rods on, you may have to use a hammer to force them to go inside of the grooves right here. So I had to beat those wheels in 
to make sure that they fit in there. All right. So after I got the wheels on, we went to the top part, which was probably one of the most frustrating parts. So now we are on step two. All right, and you're going to be using your nuts and bolts. What I would do is, um, I think I fastened these bars. Well, you definitely have to put this one on first. So this one is not a problem. Uh, there is a bar that you have to um, flip it upside down, put the bar in, and um, slide it all the way over to the other side, as you can see. So let me get the under. So as you can see, um, here is the bar. There is the other side. The pole is actually in here, and it comes out right here. All right, so that part isn't too hard. But then you have these things. So, on this, these screws are very tiny and they do not align flush with the bar. So it's important that you use both of your tools here. You're going to have to use this on the under part and this on the top part to tighten these together. Um, I would advise you get some help. It was very hard doing it on my own. If you can, get some help. And that goes for both sides. So you put it in, and I actually put mine in upside down. I put the top part at the bottom and I faced it up because I could uh, do my little lever thing easier up here than I could down here. And this part was pretty easy to tighten. Um, I believe this is one long screw. Let me check the yeah so that's just one long screw that goes in through there and you thread it on that side so that's what this part is right here so you want to do these two first on the bottom oops sorry <laughs> and then fasten it to your pole at the top okay and once you have once you have that completed, it's pretty much a breeze. Um, this other pole, which is in step three, goes on top of the base pole. All right. um, with this, you will see that this pole has some grooves right here. And this is how you um, adjust it on these holes at the bottom of the pole. So basically, make sure that um, you put it in this way with this uh, big hole up. And you put it in on this one. All right. So I'm just going to throw that in there. All right, and that already kind of gives it some, some good height. We've already assembled this part. So um, the next step is to put the backboard on top of that pole right there. And I will need some assistance. So just give me one second. Come here, please. All right, now we're going to demonstrate.
demonstrate how to um, put the backboard on top of the pole. Do I come in there with you? Yes, please. Okay, and I hope that was caught on video. And Houston, we have a basketball goal. So, I hope this video was helpful. It was short and sweet and to the point. If you have any questions, I'll be happy to try to answer them with you. Um, I was fortunate enough to get all pretty good pieces. I used everything but two washers that I could not get. I didn't use these two washers because I could not get them to go flush with the bottom rails right here. But other than that, I, if you have any questions, let me know. I hope this was helpful. God bless you. Take care and be safe.